On that note here, welcome to this week's edition of Africa Tech. On today's episode, we feature two Nigerian teenagers, Anesi and Osine Iki and Osime, and they've created a mobile web browsing app known as Crocodile Browser Lite. And they say it's faster and more easily accessible on lower end phones, commonly available right here in Africa, as well as other developing countries. Anesi and Osine Ikianosime are teenage brothers living in Lagos, Nigeria. Like many children their age, they spend a lot of time on social media and browsing the net. But the two boys decided to do much more. They developed their own browser known as Crocodile Browser Lite. I had like a small phone at the time when I started when we started when we started learning how to code and uh, Google Chrome like the that was like the main browser on the phone and it wasn't really functional for me. So I decided to make something that can work for myself. Anesi and Osina taught themselves how to code when they were 12 and 14 years old respectively, using free online resources and reading books. Now 16, Anesi says they are also motivated by a desire to help people and are passionate about developing the IT industry in Nigeria. I just want to solve problems that people have to make people's life easier and better. Anesia and Osina see it as an opportunity for new innovative technology. They say Crocodile Browser Lite is faster than more conventional browsers like Google's Chrome and can be supported on lower end phones common across Africa. Crocodile Browser Lite is available on Google Play Store and has so far received 40,000 downloads. Despite their early success, Chukwemeka Afigo, program manager at Google Nigeria, cautions that Anesi and Osina need to further improve their browser if it's to become more globally competitive. People obviously out of curiosity want to have um, a feel of the browser and know what, it, what, what it's like. Um, you know, this is going to obviously drive a lot of downloads at the initial stage. Uh, however, I'd like to take this opportunity to um, you know pass a message on to the people the the boys who, who build this browser that you know they should keep working on it and keep improving it so that even beyond this stage where there's a lot of publicity around it you know uh, people will then get hooked on the browser because it's either superior or there's something it does especially well and that makes them use it beyond this um, hype quote-unquote stage Anesi is about to graduate from secondary school and is hoping to go abroad to further his education. Both brothers have developed a fan base among their friends and schoolmates. They see me as this smart billionaire entrepreneur kid, not knowing I don't make any money from this, and I'm just the same as they are. There's nothing special about me. Their teachers, however, believe it's Anesi and Osina's work ethic that sets them apart. Sylvester Nwachuku is an assistant principal at the school. He also teaches the younger brother. They are very inquisitive. I teach one of them, the younger one is in my class, and uh, he's very, very good, very agile, answers questions, and does a lot of um, research work. Anesi and Osina began their coding journey with the encouragement of both their parents, who introduced them to computers as early as the age of three. The brothers say their goal is to create IT and mobile solutions for social problems that affect people, not just in Africa, but in developing countries around the world. I'm sure you will agree that Anesi and Osine are truly teenage geniuses. Well, in the spirit of Ramadan, Algerian police are giving free meals to Algerian citizens. For the second year running, security services have set up the tents near the main checkpoints in the country's provinces in which they serve iftar meals so that people can break their fast. They came up with that idea after considering the risk of road accidents normally increases in Ramadan as people rush home after sunset to try to eat, having fasted since dawn. Drivers who stopped at the checkpoint said they liked the idea. 
Now, here's our question for the day. It's, it's as regards the Mediterranean crisis. We'd like to know what are your thoughts on the way the Mediterranean crisis is being handled? Feel free to send us your feedback either via email or Twitter. The address and handle are right there on your screen. As always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching Network Africa right here on Channels Television. I'm Cynthia Ray.